Welcome to ADTV and today we've come to Reef and Fisheries and we've chosen to fish the Bungalow Lake which is absolutely full of little carp and perfect to hopefully talk you through what we're going to be doing today and that is fishing the very cheap but effective sweet corn. Now sweet corn works all year round but for me personally there's always certain times where you can get better results. So we're in the middle of May, the water temperature is starting to warm up these fish are starting to move round and look for bigger particles and sweet corn fits that bill perfectly. So for me, my best results come at this time of year. The reason for that would be because it's quite soft, it's visual, as they come over they can see it and when they feed on it there's not particularly a lot of substance to it. So corn is quite soft and it's a lot of water based so they eat an awful lot of it. So that would be one of my first tips would be quite aggressive when you fish with sweet corn. And what I mean by that is as I am today, I'm fishing on the pole. I'll probably put a big pot of sweet corn in at the start to try and get those fish to home in on it and hopefully they'll stay there. And then you can just top it up throughout the session. Now rig wise, it's really simple. You don't have to be flash. The only thing I would mention that's perhaps different to a more negative rig would be I'd use a bigger hook that you can bury in the corn. You sort of thread it around the hook and that's absolutely perfect. But apart from that, you really don't have to have anything special to fish sweet corn. Be positive and fish it at this time of year, it's becoming extremely effective. Now, if you wanted to try and get a little bit extra out of it, corn is superb at taking on flavors and colors. So you can fish it on your own, but if you want, you can add some flavors to get the extra enhancement and hopefully make you stand out to the other people around the lake. So you can either do that yourself with, with flavors and colors of your choice, or you can actually buy it already done for ease. There's plenty of different colors out there in the shop. So colors and flavors, always play around with those and see what's best for you. And then lastly, and perhaps the most effective one for me personally, is I played around last year with liquidized corn. And the idea came from when I was feeding ground back down the edge and making big clouds with not a lot of food particle there to eat, liquidized corn fit that bill absolutely brilliantly. So once I've blended up, it sort of releases the sugar. It smells fantastic. And all I'm doing is like toss potting that in and the cloud comes, the fish come in the cloud and the only thing really for, to them to eat is my bit of corn on the hook. So that was being super effective for me. The only thing I would mention with that one is fish it in relatively shallow water because it is only a cloud and not particularly food that's getting to the bottom. Anywhere potentially deeper than three foot might not be as effective as it is down the edge. Down the edge is where that would be really effective. So. There's three or four tips there on how I fish corn and when I think the best time to fish it yourselves is. So if you're not out there already, like hundreds of people are, then get out there and see if you can give it a go, which is exactly what I'm gonna get on with now. There we are, what a brilliant way to end a day on the corn. These little fellas have kept coming all day. I've had an awful lot of these little carp. We've started off more outside in deep water, been really aggressive with the feeding and big baits. And then as the day moved on, we've moved down this edge and fished that sloppy corn as we mentioned. So really good time to go out there and give the corn a go. If you're not out there already, get yourself on the bank and get catching some fish. 